as you can see, the back of the car is full of cleaning materials, food, the uh, disaster aid centre in Penrith. After I spoke to them to tell them that I was going to come up for a three or four days, whatever they needed us for, and volunteer to help. Uh, I asked them what they were in desperate need for right now. But it surprised me a little bit when they said that the thing that they needed the most of was cleaning materials. And they went on to explain that the, uh, the flood water isn't just muddy water, it's the deposits in the water from the sewage that floats up into the high street, the little, as Billy Connolly would say, the wee jobbies. The wee jobbies float into your house, get churned up, and all them particles end up all over your walls, in your furniture, in your sockets, in your fuse box, in your cooker. So I put a, a little call out on Facebook, and I asked my friends and family, and the wife joined in, and within days, you can see how much we've got. A full car full, or people carry a full. So I'm off to Penrith to the uh, Evergreen People Centre, Community Centre, which is the, the area where you drop off donations. I'd like to thank everybody who donated cleaning materials and food and candles, all the things that we asked for. I appreciate it and I'm sure the people up at Penrith will do some real good with it. Well, we're here, I believe. Let's turn you around. I think that over there is the... Uh, that's the Evergreen Centre at uh, Penrith. Well, it feels a bit like the calendar, girls. I've turned up at the Evergreen Community Centre, walked in, and there's a girl there blowing balloons up, and I was wondering, this isn't a very large uh, response to a disaster. As you see, is that it got too big for that location, and they've just moved it today. So I have to go to, which was their original HQ, uh, and then meet up with the uh, the crew then. I take it this must be the old fire station. For want of a better word, it must be here. They got here eventually. <laughs> I went to the completely the wrong place. I oh. went to the evergreen. Went to where I used to do ballet. That's terrible. I'm not going back there. Oh, come on. This is going. Yeah. Where did you come from? Where did you be? All the Facebook and chip. Okay. We've all, uh, oh, all got bits and pieces. Donations delivered. They were very grateful for it, especially the cleaning equipment. I got uh, put straight to work. So I did a couple of hours helping them uh, unload different trucks and vans. And among the people who have actually turned up to help, it's uh, it's really quite nice. It's nice to see the uh, the community spirit. Everyone chipping in. Tomorrow, the. Uh, the local scout group are coming in, so they've got 50 odd people turning up. In the meantime, it's getting late. So I'm over and I'll go and try to find somewhere to stealth camp, get my gear set up and have something to eat, I think. Although I did get a nice cup of tea and biscuits and it was all lactose and gluten free. Couldn't believe it walked in. I said, I'm sorry, I can't have your tea, your coffee. Not a problem, here's your almond milk, here's some gluten-free bread, 
he has the sandwiches and it was really well really nice really well received and uh, I thank them all for that everyone who was there well it's getting late I've just pulled over for a spot of a uh, stealth camping we're not in Scotland so it's not strictly legal I'm under the bed I have uh, the kayak all the wet weather gear um, I have plenty of work wear because obviously I'm not quite sure what I end up doing it might just be humming boxes but on the other hand I might be doing some electrical work who knows so um, I'm going to have something to eat have a cup of tea quick wash get changed and have a couple hours kip see what the morning brings <laughs> All those people who donated the food and the cleaning materials. This is where it's all going to go. services have come through and marked the houses that cleared to the X on the window. For one thing, when you do walk up and down these streets and you help people carry things out and you see how much they've lost, a lot of them still have a smile and a good of a giggle about it. And even in the face of all this devastation, the bar is still open. It is approaching Christmas, so I hope everybody who has been affected by these terrible floods finds some, somebody, somewhere where you can have a Christmas lunch. And there's a Christmas tree and maybe a present under it, because by lots of things, an awful lot of people have lost an awful lot of things.